the campus. Oh my god, so exciting. So shiny. It's, it's so shiny, even the floor is new. The music, listen to the music. So that's the Stark restaurant. Oh, wait. Do a pose. Wait, I can't see the top of the restaurant. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Here's flight force. And you can see a little bit. I don't know if you can on camera, but it is the uh, Friday. And there's the Quinjet. That must be where they have the stunt show up there. And that's the web ride. So that's the front of the campus. And there's everything else. Right. Giant A. You want to go on flight force? Yeah. All right, let's go. Tom, do you want a picture with the sign? This the land is beautiful, guys. I would definitely say this is American level quality. So exciting. <gasps> Look at this, so pretty. Oh, they do tear our ticket, there you go. <gasps> so this is the Iron Man Captain Marvel ride, which used to be rock and roller coaster. Contacting Captain Marvel for a pre warhead update. Stark, is your life so empty you need to keep calling me for these missile updates? Faire des blagues tout en sauvant le monde, c'est ma marque de fabrique, Enders. Du nouveau sur ces missiles Cree? Well, the Cree warheads are closer to you than the last time we spoke, and I'm closer to them. So how's that for an update? Ils approchent? Vous ne pouvez pas voler plus vite. Fly faster. Is that a dig at my speed? Ah oui, quoi. Je vous pique sur votre vitesse. I don't understand you, Tony. You're breaking up. Sorry. Elle m'a raccroché au nez. Affirmative. Data indicates your disconnection was 100% intentional. Toutes les places disponibles. On n'a plus beaucoup de temps. Analyse des panneaux escamotables. Retractable panels analyzed. Recalibrage des sous-systèmes. Subsystems recalibrated. Maintenant, balance la sauce dans les répulseurs. Repulsors augmented. Consider your hands juiced. Ça m'a l'air parfait, Friday. Thank you. You're so glad you approve. Appelle Carole. Contacting Captain Marvel. Are you ready? Si je suis prêt, ça va, vous allez vous parler. We've got a situation. As you know, Kree warheads are headed our way, and we need your help. Ne vous inquiétez pas. J'ai créé un transpondeur qui va tromper le système de guidage des missiles et faire en sorte d'être pris pour cible. Ces transpondeurs sont chargés dans les véhicules hypersoniques de la Flight Force. Votre mission Piloter ces véhicules et détourner les missiles de la Terre. Right. You'll be joining us on the mission. Tony's built a transponder that the missile's targeting system will lock onto. He's loaded the transponders into his hypersonic vehicles. So you'll fly the hypersonics and draw the missiles away from the planet. That's when Heavy Metal and I can do our thing. Quand vous aurez attiré les missiles hors de portée, Denver et moi on les pulvérisera. Ils sont vraiment proches de la Terre, on n'a pas le droit à l'erreur. Unfortunately, Tony's right. We've got one chance to save the planet. So no pressure. Tout le monde a compris le plan, alors on ne traînait pas. En avant, allez, sauvez le monde we're getting on the ride! Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. All right, I'm gonna put you guys in my bag because I am not gonna hold this camera during this ride. But um, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys when we're off of Flight Force. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was incredible.
Do you want to look at our photo? It's probably me like, guys, my eyes are streaming. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that, great, right, okay, we're gonna look at our photo. Okay, so coolest thing ever, Mr. Stark is letting us have a download of our photo. So, we got our photo, that's so cool. So hopefully if we do another thing, we also can use the same photo pass. So, this is so cool. What would you, what do you rate that ride out of? Five Avenger symbols. Four. Four? That's pretty high. I would have to say the same. Like, I'd even give it a 4.5. That was really good. And I think I remember Rock and Roller Coaster, and Thomas loved Rock and Roller Coaster, so he absolutely knows that track. It was so dark, like beyond dark in there. I couldn't see what was happening. And we got front row, so that was like super, super intense. But, yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, I feel like everybody's positioned so the car might be coming out. Maybe. Yeah, right, should we go on Web Slingers? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna head to Web Slingers. You guys can see Ant-Man's all the way down there doing his meet and greets. And here's Pim's kitchen. What? You wanna meet him quickly? All right, let's go meet Ant-Man. Guys, look at that. It's currently 93 degrees. Woo! There he is. Peter Parker. Although, we're not supposed to know who Peter Parker is. Tu pourrais essayer de gérer ça à la place. 
Um, I thought it didn't look as nice, but actually in person, I think it looks good. remove every tag. Thank you. You're welcome. I bought the web hat. <laughs> I got my hat on. We just bought it. We didn't get any cast discount, which is fine. But uh, it was a lot heftier of a price tag than we thought it was going to be. But it's fine. We're now going to Pims. Bye! Off to Pims we go. Exciting. Oh, oh, she's made it. Oh, she made it. Are we in the vlog? <laughs> We're in the vlog. <laughs> it's really good. Enjoy. Je voulais ceci la carte des boissons. Et maintenant, il y a un petit peu de chimie. Bienvenue au laboratoire. Merci. Look at this. So, this is the salt and pepper, Thomas. <laughs> Salt and pepper, and then the balsamic and olive oil. But it has a thing, so. But they have these kids' menus. And then Tom's looking at the. Hmm. I don't know. There's the signature mocktail. Or there's the blue chardonnay. No, I'll do the signature mocktail. Yeah, I am technically allowed to have a drink on my lunch, but I am not going to. I'm going to go to the buffet though. So I started on that side and went to this side, and I think you should go this side to this side. But I got some jambalaya and this thing called a Mexican roll. Um, I got some roasted pork and barbecue sauce, mashed potatoes and bacon, a fried chicken wing, corn dog, a mini slider, some Caesar salad and some french fries. I'm not sure even all of it. When I went to go get the burger though, the lady asked me if I wanted the big burger. And I was like, no, I'll go for the little one. She said I made a hard sad. Which is sad. <laughs> but How big's the big burger? The size, the size of the table. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna test the corn dog. Although there's no mustard, which is a little sad, but. Oh my god. Okay. American quality. <laughs> I don't really have my taste, but I can tell you that it tastes good. So good. What did you, did you order a drink? 
No, not yet. Corn dogs were immaculate. I don't usually eat this fast, but since I'm on my lunch break, I only have so much time. Guacamole? Okay. I love the... melon soup. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get like a teaspoon. This is gonna... He's going all in. Okay. It's not Okay. It's like a gazpacho. Our mocktails are here. I've started to drink mine already, but Tom, you can pour your little thing in. Ooh. You wanna taste it? Good ice. Yeah. Crunchy ice. Yeah. Too good. I love this glass. It's like the beer glass that everybody like talks about on TikTok and stuff. I like the glass. How's your mini corn dog? It's, good. it's so good, isn't it? I wish it had mustard. Or ketchup at least, but they're serving it with barbecue sauce, which I feel like fellow Americans, you will understand that that is just sad. You gonna try your hot dog? It's spicy mustard though. Watch out. So while Tom was at the buffet and he was filming, I had a mini cheesecake and this honeycomb thing. The mini, not mini cheesecake, mini carrot cake. It was really good. It looked like it had like a little pim symbol on it. It was pretty good. It wasn't too carroty and the cream cheese frosting was just very good. Oh. I've eaten so much food.
had an accident. He has coolie all over his leg. Like, oh my god, I can't even talk. Hand. Guys, I can't talk because it's 95 degrees outside. Ah. Well, this is where I leave y'all because I have to go back to work. But um, yeah, Tom is going to finish out the vlog. So um, enjoy your guys' time with Tom. Uh, it's just me now, Sherry's gone. But there's the Hulkbuster behind me. I'm inside the Stark restaurant. Let's see if we can have a look around. There's the menu. We're gonna have a little walk around, see what we can see. Factory things. Peggy Carter's office. Celsius. Uh, so hot. Um, I have my web hat on, still rocking it. I don't know if I showed you guys my shirt earlier. I got it off AliExpress, but it says to grow old in V from WandaVision because vision is my faith. Um, yeah, so we want to show you the two things that Tom got and then talk about overall experience of what we thought of the campus. So Tom's going to show you guys what he got, do a little mini haul. Oh, I was a bit cold, so I got this massive hoodie. Because 100 degrees, you know, you need a hoodie. But it says, Avengers Assemble Flight Force. What does that say? It has a QR code so you can <gasps> play a game on Instagram. <laughs> okay, if sure. You're What's this? It's just some random. Restricted access. Yeah, okay. I'm restricted access. He's restricted. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch no, you. No touch. Okay. No touch. I'd say try it on, but you probably sweat. I mean, we're already sweating. I already so. tried it on. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's nice. I'll wear it more. I like this one. The Iron Man. It says Avengers Campus opening summer 2022. Oh, I wish I had the actual date. Like, the di like July 20th. Yeah. But, but summer 22 summer. is okay. It's yeah. not too bad. I didn't know when it was going to open. True. True. When they I mean, to be fair, I thought it would be September. So I left you guys when I was at Pim's Kitchen and I basically inhaled my food and ran back to work. But uh, Tom stayed and he said that he shot a little bit on his phone. So I'll go ahead and enter that here. 
but uh, you said you also got some on the camera, right? A little bit. Yeah, but got a little bit on the camera, so we'll show you guys what he got then too. But uh, overall experience, what do you think of the campus? Very good. Very good. Very impressive. I actually really like Flight Force. I feel like a lot of people are saying they don't like I, it. Uh, I already liked Rock and Roller Coaster. It was my favorite ride. Yeah. So I still very like much like the track. Yeah. Um, it was pitch black. It's so Rock and Roller Coaster used to have like a bunch of like stage lights throughout the track, so it was a lot more like lasery up. lights. Well, yeah, just no, just more lights in yeah. general. So it was a lot more lit up. You could see more. You could see what was coming. There were more like light effects. Yeah. Whereas I could see with this, they were trying to go for the whole screen projection. Yeah. Which I, I think mean, the like, Captain Marvel the speed you, like, At the speed you go, <laughs> cool. like, you can see a bit. Because once you launch, it doesn't really. There's only a part in the middle where it kind of slows. Haley said apparently it's better in the middle. You can yeah, like I mean, we see were it, right, we but were right we were in the front, front so, so like, and much. front is the best. Um, but like, I still felt like I saw. I still saw it. Saw everything that was happening. Yeah. Um, I mean, but it could tears just do streaming, so, but like, that. for example, with Hyperspace Mountain. Yeah. It has more light effects. Yeah. As well as just the projections, and I feel like yeah. it could have done with a couple well, more. Well, because the stars. Same effects. with like Crush's coaster has like l like effects yeah. going on. So you can kind of see the track. Instead of just like the projections, it could have done with a few more lights. Yeah, I feel like we could have had like a few starry planet things. Yeah. But then the all dark effect is actually kind of cool. Yeah, I mean it is cool, but yeah. But if they can like section it out more, doesn't it? And the Iron Man that you get to see like in the attraction is... Yeah, it's a cool animatronic. Yeah. I mean, he's better than like Buzz for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. But he's one of the new... Yeah. Version and the yeah. Yeah. And Web, exactly like Toy Story Mania, exactly what I thought it was going to be. But like, I didn't think it would actually track us, and it really was. Yeah, it was pretty. Accurate. I apologize for that footage because I'm trying to sling and was trying to hold you guys. So. Yeah, that one again. I think partly because of the whole English French situation as well. Mm. Uh, it's just quite a fast-paced ride. Yeah. And it's not, not that there's a, a, a lot of story, but you're just trying to like shoot as fast as you can, so it's difficult to follow. Yeah. Exactly. You'd have to also, ride it. I feel there like was also only two of us in the car, yeah. and it's a four, four or five person car. Yeah. So it's supposed to be like the whole team gets yeah. together to do it. I feel like I'd have to ride it again to like appreciate the story a bit more, because I was just. We were too focused. Trying to rapidly yeah. shoot. Also, apparently, like the accuracy. Like how you would shoot for like Twister Mania. I mean, you can go off accuracy, but the more you kind of flail, the more bots you get. Yeah. So. But the whole uh, the whole ride experience was very well themed, very well designed. I'd like to go on it again with somebody that has the attachment to see what the difference is. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. But it'd be fun to use it. Yeah. Like, I feel like if, if it was if something I'd buy it like and use it once and then. Yeah, Not if it was either. something like um like the Harry Potter ones where it's like interactive throughout the lands, as well as that, <coughs> that would be something I would still kind of be like, okay, that's yeah. a little bit cooler. It's only on the ride, which I wonder if our attachment then works in like California. Probably, I, don't know. I think they're the same. They're okay, the same. but I saw a lot of people buying Spider Bots. They looked really cute, yeah. but again, it's one of those things that you would play with it for like five minutes and then it would just sit on your shelf. So, we have enough Lego around the house, we don't need a spider bot. But if they had a mini spider bot, I would have been like, oh, okay. Finished it. Ta-da. I my mom for that. For Christmas, it's a four out of five. We didn't actually rate web slingers. I would say, I'd give it a 4.5 as well. Oh yeah, 4.5. We're very hard to please. We're hard to get a five out of five on an attraction for us. No. Um, but there was lots of characters I've around. I've yet to ride Rise, Rise of the Resistance, but... I imagine Rise of the Resistance is a five We might, five Yeah, perhaps. we may be saving that. But um, we saw Ant-Man. We saw Iron Man in the car. We saw Captain Marvel on the, like up by the Quinjet. We didn't go in and meet a superhero, but the line was way too long. But we met, yeah, we met Ant-Man. But we met Ant-Man, yeah. yeah. The, I, I was, was saying like there was lots of characters yeah, yeah. around. And when we were saying, in yeah, the if we went, store... If we got into the training center, we could have got um, one of those cool... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get the 3D videos. pictures. 
Um, and when we were in the store, Star Lord and Gamora were doing their dance off. Yeah. I would have gone out if it was the Dermalage. To be fair, for the so I was there the whole two and a half hours. Yeah. But for that amount of time, I saw pretty much. Most, I mean, you thought we were going to rush it. Do you still feel like we rushed it? Um, not really. No. I mean, apart from not doing the training centre, we yeah. did the, everything on the land. Yeah. Um, There's only one store. But yeah, I would say it's two and a half to three hours you would spend in the Avengers campus to do everything. Yeah, well, it depends because I mean the queue lines for the rides are what's gonna. Oh yeah, I mean like we walked on the rides, so it would probably be like four or five hours. Yeah, which will make that park a bit more interesting because at the moment there's not really a lot you can do in that I mean, park. Yeah, yeah. So I don't when know what that the capacity will be like. Yeah, no for idea. that area, but it will help with absorbing guest capacity. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, but we hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did like this video, what do they do, Tom? They like. They and like it, and then they subscribe. Then they subscribe, and you can see more. Thomas and Sherry vlogs, Disney vlogs, travel vlogs, all of that. But uh, we hope to see you in our next video. Bye! Say bye. Bye.